An easy solution to the dinner dilemma? At Blue Apron, we work to... When you choose HelloFresh, there are so... We see a lot of ads and deep promotional discounts for meal kits delivered straight to your door. But can they save you money? We compared two meals from two companies. Rather than having to buy full items, you're just using what you need. We also went shopping. So what we did was get two sets of similar recipes from Blue Apron and from HelloFresh. But what we want to do is compare what it costs to get these kits to what it looks like if we just buy the ingredients on our own at the grocery store. Let's find out. All right, where to begin? There were a couple of challenges to our comparison. The meal kits are portioned out, no leftovers. Do you happen to know how many ounces this bunch of kale is? Plus, what's the price on time? Meal deliveries could save you a trip to the store. Scallions are on our list. With the meal kits recipes as our guide. I'm trying to figure out how much of each I need. We purchased what was included in the boxes as best we could. I need one clove of garlic and a thumb of ginger. Finding in several cases, we'd only need a little of something for our recipe, but had to buy a lot. All this for two tablespoons. We even weighed our ingredients when possible. They all come in packs of three. So I guess we're getting three. This is the pre-portioned what Blue Apron sent us compared to everything we bought on its own. Outside of its promotional deals, for a Blue Apron box with two meals, two servings each, Blue Apron charged $57.95. Those ingredients at the grocery store cost us $49.05, about $9 cheaper. The HelloFresh box was $60.95 without promos. At the grocery store, food for those two meals was $31.65, almost half the cost. And we had more ingredients left over for future meals. None for puppy. None for puppies. When it comes to food budgets, dollars and cents add up. When you're working with clients on such big picture things, does it ever get back to, okay, where can we trim on the grocery bill? Does it, do you go absolutely. that far down? Yeah, absolutely, because every dollar adds up over time. Financial advisor Catherine McCall says meal kits probably won't save you in the long run. And I think it's okay if you're really just looking to change it up and get some new recipes, but if you're really looking to save money and you're trying to feed a family of four or six, it may not pencil. She says your best bet, preparing extra food for leftovers, bringing your lunch to work, and buying in bulk for items like proteins. Figuring out those little things that you can save dollars on, it all adds up. In Sacramento, Leanne Denier. Mm hmm It's good. KCRA 3 News. <laughs> if she does say so herself. <laughs> we reached out to the meal kit companies for interviews, but they declined. Of course, another factor to consider is time. Both companies have options for meals based on how long they take, with a lot of them ready to eat in 20 or 30 minutes.